everyone. It's a lot chillier today. Well, um, what I said the other day was true. I figured Kevin would be, oh, chickens out. And a couple chickens are out. What I had talked about the other day was Kevin wanting to move some cows. And it looks like he's already working at it. Let me show you. Kevin and the boys are bringing the dry cows in now, and I'm just kind of watching. It's much cooler today than it was the other day when I said that we had record-breaking temperatures. Right now, I think it's about 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a little chillier. Of course, the younger ones. Oh boy. Cows are jealous. What one? The milk cows. Oh. Hear them all moving? Hello! Did you see me? Yeah. getting ready to go out and make a corral. We're gonna make a corral. We got a bunch of, uh, gathered up a bunch of odd and end gates and uh, we're gonna get it set up so the cows get used to going in it and then uh, yeah hopefully another week. These are for the heifers that we have out in the pasture that we showed you earlier this fall that we've been moving pastures around. They're free. Well they've been, <laughs> they've been in the same pasture for several weeks now, we've just been feeding them um, round bales and some silage. And now we're going to bring them home, but we're going to make a corral and then so they can get used to going in it. And then we'll load them up probably next week in a few days once they've gotten used to it. But today we're getting ready to build the corral. And we just have gathered a bunch of gates and. Um, you can wear that one. We're going to bring a bunch of gates there and put them together somehow. What are we going to use? Bale or twine? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not That's well. what I thought. It's not going to be rope. professional. It's like a... Oh, rope? Well, it's big square bale twine. It's not a little bit. It's like baler twine. twine. It's square bale twine. Binder twine.
coming. And we're back. Um, today we are going to be moving the heifers from the pasture into the dry cow barn. Some of these heifers are um, springing heifers, but um, and some of them are a little further off. But they're all coming back to the farm, and they're all going in the dry cow um, pen, the dry cow barn. The weather has turned. Yesterday, which was Sunday, we've gotten um, a lot of rain. I'm not sure because I didn't have a rain gauge up, but we've gotten well over an inch and maybe even closer to two inches. I have no idea. Everything is very muddy once again, and if it ever really dried up. But it's muddy, and now the wind has changed. And it's now out of the north, which is bringing in cold air. And we're supposed to get up to six inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. So, um, yeah. We're going to head on out and see if those heifers will cooperate. And cooperate. go into the trailer without much persuasion. We'll see. Um... I don't know how this is going to go, but hopefully it goes well. That's what we're planning on. Gage move? Oh, a little more than I thought. We're squeezed in. Oh, my. 
buddy on your pants. You got a little muddy on your face. Back to the farm. So this is going to take two loads. There's like 10 or 11 left, right? I think 10. I think 11. Civilization. Civilization. Oh, back to the civilians Civilian. land. Actually, they like to run down there. They did. They had a lot of fun. Am I in your way? No. Oh, you're so good at backing up. Right next to me. Oh no, it's powerful.
they're gonna get pushed, yeah. Pushed around. To the mineral bucket. Be careful. So there we have it. The cows are all enjoying the comfort of being back in a barn. Ethan wasn't reading a book. So thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a very blessed day. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.